Uh, hai, uh, nama saya Aisyah uh, dan uh, saya daripada SMK Sungai Kruit, Sungai Perak dan nama projek saya ialah Smart Power System. Okay. Projek ni adalah uh, diinspirasikan daripada kejadian yang terputusnya elektrik di hospital. Dan apabila berlaku keputus, uh, putusnya elektrik di hospital, sistem ini akan mengesan pesakit di dalam kawasan-kawasan yang tersembunyi contohnya seperti tandas, lift dan memberitahu kepada juru teknik bahawa terdapat pesakit di dalam tandas ataupun lift dengan menerusi mesej. Juru teknik tersebut akan uh, menghidupkan lampu untuk mengirimi pesakit keluar daripada tandas dan juga lift. Projek kami ini juga sistem ni boleh mengawal elektrik dan juga uh, hal ini boleh mengurangkan bil elektrik kepada hospital uh, dan seterusnya uh, dapat menjimatkan elektrik so, contohnya bila berlaku blackout dekat hospital uh, terdapat bekalan kuasa yang dibekalkan di bilik ICU uh, bilik pembedahan uh, tetapi tiada bekalan kuasa untuk ward dan juga uh, tandas dan juga uh, sebagainya jadi uh, sistem kami ni uh, boleh mengawal elektrik untuk disalurkan disalurkan kepada tempat-tempat yang spesifik ini. Our project is the home compost bin. Why we do this project is because we have found out the problem that um, most of the household owners and also the restaurant owners they do not uh, they do not deal with their food waste in, in the correct way uh, because uh, because making compost is difficult even with the products available in the market. These products available in the market are really expensive and they have to import it from um, another foreign country and also uh, the available products are not uh, are not user friendly enough for these people to use because they need a, a lot of steps and they, they need a lot of time uh, they need to wait, waste a lot of time to uh, to use this kind of product so we have invented our home compost bin which functions on, the, on its own and all the user need to do is to put this uh, home compost bin beside the refrigerator it will absorb the heat produced by the refrigerator to let the process speed up the composting process by the microorganisms because heat is one of the mo most important elements for the compost to the uh, to for the, for the for the process of composting so uh, uh, the user will just need to um, fill up the soil and also fill up the charcoal bottle um, to make it function another thing is they they have to add in food scraps like uh, the compostable food scraps inside and press a button to make this com compost bin churn uh, automatically. We have gears and also a motor to to make it to make the sp the, the spinner spin automatically. So we, we also have a moisture sensor in it to sense the moisture. We need optimum moisture to enable uh, the composting process to happen uh, quickly. So when this uh, soil in it is too moist, uh, it'll triggers the servo motor to open the container and add charcoal into the uh, into the soil so when this soil is done composting it'll it'll be fine it'll be fine and it'll drop down into the drawer uh, below the bin so when this drawer is full we'll have this um, ultrasonic sensor to sense the to sense the soil to send the, to sense the organic fertilizer in it so it'll triggers the LED to light up and when the user sees this LED, uh, he or she can just go and pick up the drawer and get their end product to use it. Uh, I'm Kelvin from Team Smart Nerds, SMK Gajah Bayang Melaka, and we're doing a project named the Auto Blood Testing Tube Sorting Machine. Uh, normally, the hospital will manually sort the blood test tubes, but my auntie told me she uh, she's a nurse at the hospital, she told me that there was a problem at the hospital, many problems, that the lack of manpower, cost of manpower are too high. And so we decided, decided to do this machine, design this machine. Uh, this is how it works. Uh, first, it will, this is a red test tube, we go inside, and we go according to red color. And now it's a blue test tube. It go, it go here, and the green test tube here. Uh, the the benefits of this project is it's very accurate and it's save time. It's more accurate than human. 
because he's a machine. Hello everyone, I'm Joseph. I'm Iman. And I'm Nas. We're from Tonggu Dress School, Kuching Sao, and we're from Team The Pheromone E Trapper. So as we all know that palm oil industry is one of the economy agricultural backbone of Malaysia. But nowadays, they're facing some serious problems which will really affect this sector. So one of the major problems they face right now is pest infection. One of the pests is Tirataba. Tirataba is a moth that the larva or the caterpillar will eat the fruits of palm oil and cause under that low fruits and it will lose its economy value. So what they're doing right now to solve this problem is to spray tons and tons of pesticide. But this will not only kill Tirataba, but it will kill other insects such as the bees or anything that want to do the pollination for the palm oil. And it's also very harmful to the environment. So for our prototype journey, our product is very simple. All the farmers have to do is just buy the product directly. And all they have to do is just assemble the product and hang it on their palm fruit trees. Either it's on the fruits or on the bark of the trees, but in near the trees. So all they have to do is just wait for night time. And then next morning, they can just unscrew the, bot the bottle on the below part of the trapper. And they can just remove the residue from last night. So our aim is to set up a trapper and use of pheromone as a sex attractant and LED light as phototesis and also to install sensors for monitoring environmental parameters and also to detect the infestation of Tirataba Rufivena on the oil palm fruit. For our advantages, our product is eco-friendly meaning that it doesn't harm the environment in any other way it don't, and number two, it is, it is cost reduced basically meaning that the farmers don't have to pay a lot of money to make sure that the problem is gone and it is target specific basically meaning that it targets the real problem and, un and not the other unnecessary ones Hi, I'm from Team Tesla SMK Dalaman Astin and my team members we have Tashvinya and Diban so the ideas of our project is actually uh, we encounter it daily life it's like we every time encounter this when we go to the supermarket we ourselves encounter the three of us encountered it as well so this is our idea from we take the idea from there to do it so our product can detect the presence of the stocks in in the shaft so we are using LDR and ultrasonic ultrasonic detect height and distance and LDR detects light so ultrasonic is for actually for the stacking stocks and LDR is for arranging stocks